proper but folks when you talk here and they were playing the, the, the literature club and i heard that it's it's a game that pretty much goes into ways that you you are not supposed to play like a cute game or something like that especially the guy with the green eyes <laughs> Okay, I think I'm just gonna shut up and just play. <laughs> okay, new game. Enter your name. Obviously, I'm just gonna put my original name. Okay, hey. Now what? I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. Okay, that girl is uh, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know that you know the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. Yeah, we used to walk to school together on days like this, but sta starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. Okay, but if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. Then run. Why are you standing there still? Run then. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. You fucking idiot. Just run <laughs> if you want to run. Okay. Ha! Ha! <laughs> I overslept again. What time did you sleep at night? And what were you doing for the whole night? But I caught you this. <laughs> Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Hey, you said that like you were thinking about ignoring me. Yeah, I was. Yes, I was. I was trying to ignore you. <laughs> That's mean, Fox. Well, if people stare at you acting weird, then I don't want them to think we are a couple or something. Yeah, fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. Yeah, I guess so. I guess you don't have it in you to be to be mean, even if you want to. Shut the. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> okay, we cross the street together and make our way <coughs> way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasing, increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Fox, have you decided on a club to join it? What are you talking about? A club? I told you already, I'm really not in interested in joining any clubs. Yeah, I'm not. I've been looking... I haven't been looking either. Uh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? <laughs> I'm sure it's possibly possible that I did in one of our many conversations. Well, okay. I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Sorry likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Oh! <laughs> that was a mouthful. Ah, uh, aha. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Shut up! Your happiness is really important to me, you know. Okay? That's nice to know. That's good to know. And I know you're happy now, but I, but I die at the thought of you becoming a need. Wow. In a few years, because, because you're not used to the real world. You know, okay. <coughs> you trust me, right? I don't know. Don't make me keep worrying about you. All right, all right. But can we just go to school? We have been studying here like for an hour or something. I look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No, pro no promises though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay. Yay. Oh, uh, okay, I'm not doing that. Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? <laughs> More than that, I'm surprised I even let my, myself relent to, relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. Okay, let's go. And why am I the only one in school? I'm literally the only one in the class. <laughs> the desks are empty apart from me. Even the teachers are not even, the, in, even in the class. The school day is, an, is as ordinary as ever and it's over before I know it. After I pack my things, I stare blankly at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sari wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. <laughs> Hello? Sayori? Sari must have come into the classroom while I was... Wow, that was a... Okay. While I was spacing out. 
I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Okay? Also, you are, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. Shut up. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought you, you know, know what? Well, that you could come to my club. Sayori? <coughs> yeah. There's no way I'm going to your club. <laughs> that was really straightforward. Um, Mini. Okay, Sayori is vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature club. In fact, I'm 99% sure she, learned, she only did it because she thought I would. It would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed, proposed the club, she inherited the title of vice president. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. That's why you fucked up. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. Yeah, you damn fucked up, boy. Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an head <laughs> or she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. I let, I let out a long sigh. <sighs> I know that sounded so aggressive and I pretty much hurt my throat a bit. <laughs> Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yeah, let's, yes, let's go. And thus, today makes the day I saw myself for a cupcake. <laughs> and that's it. Okay, I can't say that. Follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and acti activities. I almost said activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you, don't call me a new member. <laughs> uh, I glance around the room. Okay. Who really says nice things about you? Seriously, you brought a boy? Where, where to kill the atmosphere? The atmosphere. Shut up, you pink-haired looking ass bitch. Ah, Fox. What's a what a nice what a, what a nice surprise. <laughs> I don't know why I can't talk today. Welcome to the club. And I'm just quiet. A world escapes me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. Yeah, it is. What are you looking at? Not you. If you want to say something, say it. You, you got those small tech ties. Sorry. Not to get. Hmm. The girl with the sore attitude whose name is apparently Natsuki is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. <laughs> she's also uh, the one who made up picks according to Sayori. You can't you can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that that quietly into my ear then turns back to her, the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Don't say things like that. Yuri who appears com comparable, more nature and timid seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Seori and Natsuki. Ah, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Fox. Monica smiles sweetly. Okay, let me smile. We don't know each other well. We rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class, mad, beautiful, and athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so generally feels a little... You, you too, Monica? Come sit down, folks. We made room for you, for you at the table so you can sit down next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Think I'm just gonna end it there. 
we are gonna try the cupcakes in the next in the next video and see how they really are so yeah thanks guys for watching don't forget to smash that like button subscribe to my channel it really means a lot if you do and thanks guys and bye bye